Okay, this is video number two in this mixing series using Nuage to get a quick rough mix. So far I think things are sounding okay. Uh, there's one section up here. I just need to find the keyboard part that I'm hearing. That's it right there. Uh, that keyboard part, i am uh, it's labeled short here. I want to cut a little bit of the low end out of that. And so if I go to my channel, I'm just going to use that to cut the low end out here. I'm just going to high pass it up to about a uh, 100 maybe. Let me take a listen to that section again. That's better. It was just a little bit muddy uh, to me. Okay, that's sounding pretty good to me so far. Let's take a listen to the bass now. Pay attention to that a little bit here. And I might even give it a little bit more low end, but before I do that, I want to uh, listen to maybe inserting a compressor on that. And so maybe I'll do that right now. I want the bass to stand out a little bit more. And rather than just EQing and boosting things, I've found that it, uh, sometimes you can use compressors to help things stand out more. And so I'm going to try that real quick here. I'm going to choose this uh, CL3A compressor here. it up here and listen to that again. Call that good for now. Okay, now as I've been listening to some things, I've noticed I want I want to hear a little more snare. And, you know, a lot of times our natural re reaction is to just grab the EQ and boost some things or cut some things. Um, as I was listening to this, I thought maybe I want to insert a compressor first. And so I've done that. Let me, sh let me show you kind of what I've done a little bit here. So it's just not quite as present as I would like it to be. And so I've, I've inserted this... Uh, CLA, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 76 compressor waves plug-in, and let's take a listen to that. I'll bypass it. That's bypassed there, and it has such. I like this compressor because it has such a fast release time. It gives it a little more body to that snare, and doesn't sound as compressed. And so I'm using that, and then I've also got an envelope shaper here that I'm going to insert on there. And I liked what I did there, so I'll let you hear that as well. Kind of pulls it out a little bit more in the mix. And so I, I inserted that as well, and I really liked it. So now I'm hearing what I want out of the snare. Okay, some other things I'm hearing on the drum kit. I, I'd like the drums to stick out a little bit more, but I want them to sit more in the pocket. And so uh, what I've done is I've, uh, I've bussed everything to a drum kit group, and I'm going to... Now I've inserted a, uh, a plug-in on that group. I've got this uh, Waves C6 multiband compressor plug-in already inserted on there, and I like what that's done, especially with the low end, but I still want to uh, have it... I just want it to sit more in the pocket, so I'm going to uh, put a maximizer on it here, so I'll demonstrate that.
you notice it uh, gives it a little more, I can actually back my level down a little bit. I'm just compressing everything overall, but it brings out the overheads, it brings out the symbols, and when I uh, add, start adding effects, you'll hear that as well. So that, I think that's a good place for it to sit right now. Okay, I think we've uh, got a good rough mix going here. We've uh, got space, you know, everything's in its own space. I'm happy with where the vocals and the background vocals are sitting and happy with the drums and I think everything else. So we'll call that good for this video. Uh, the next video we're going to focus on uh, effects and how to uh, uh, route effects and, and things through uh, using new eyes to build this mix. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Brad at PulseSound.com. Thank you.